Jeff here from the CarBuyingTips.com YouTube channel and welcome back to the channel where since 1999 our team of consumer advocates has been both educating and protecting you, the American public, in all areas of buying new cars, used cars, leasing, financing, and avoiding car dealer scams. And you know we also do how-to videos and tool review videos as well, but in today's video we're going to show you how to clean the wheels on your Ford F-150 King Ranch truck. Okay, now as you can see here, the truck in the background, we have it sort of in the shade and that's where you want it to be. You don't want to be doing this ever out in the bright sunlight because the heat will cause the, the wheel cleaner to evaporate and it won't get the dwell time that's required. So you, and you don't want to encourage any kind of staining. So you always want to make sure you're operating in the shade. Okay, so here in our bucket, you can see we have all the different brushes and the wheel woolies that we're going to be using here. But I wanted to show you here the grit guard that we're using. So we actually use a couple of different grit guards. We put one down at the bottom there, the black one, and then we put a second one, the yellow one, and then we have the washboard. So whenever you're using your brush or if you're using a wash mitt on your car, we like to get all of the dirt to come off on the grit guard here on the washboard and then it drops down below there where it stays below the area that you're going to touch with the sponge or with the brush here. So that way all the dirt stays at the bottom of the bucket. Okay, so one of the things you can notice here, we, we made a mark here to just show you just how dirty it is inside the barrel there. So we're going to spray all of the Meguiar's cleaner on on here we're going to spray it on there and let it dwell for a few minutes but you have to put it on dry you do not wet the tires first you don't wash the tires first you spray it right onto the wheels here first and just let it dwell for a few minutes and then we'll use some aggressive water spraying okay so once we've sprayed it and allowed it to dwell a few minutes then we'll hit it with an aggressive stream of water and we'll also hit it with the brushes too Okay, so McGuire says that this ultimate all-wheel cleaner here is safe to use on all wheels. And the reason why they can get away with saying that is because this is not acid-based. It's pH balanced. There's no acid in it like other wheel cleaners might have. So you don't have to worry about your clear coat, your painted wheels or anything. It says it's usable on all surfaces. Okay, so we're going to start with a dry wheel here. And we're going to spray the McGuire's Ultimate All-Wheel Cleaner here all over in there and give it a good dwell time. We want to give it a good coating. So you just work your way around there. And if you're not familiar with this Meguiar's all-wheel cleaner, you're going to notice what's happening here is it's going to start to dissolve the iron in the brake dust. And that's what's so critical about products like this. This is very similar to the CarPro's Iron X, which you saw us in our previous video um, on cleaning the Mercedes, the white Mercedes there, how you use it to decontaminate the paint first. So the, there's a very similar chemicals in here. And over the next couple of minutes, you're going to see this start to turn purple. And that purple color there means that it's dissolving the iron in the brake dust. And you might think, well, I could just do that with the, the soap and the brush, and, and that's not true because the iron from the brake dust actually embeds itself into the paint and into your wheels there, the rims. And so it does really need to be dissolved off to get it off of there. So you can already see the purple showing up on the lug nuts. Okay, so we'll give that a dwell time of about a couple of minutes and then we'll come back and give it a, a secondary spray here. Okay, so after a couple of minutes here, you can see there's some purple, not a lot, and that's because these wheels are actually only a couple of months old. This is a fairly new truck. So I always come in and add a second coating just to keep it nice and moist here. Ready? Yep. Okay, so now we're going to get in there and spray it with a good aggressive spray. To rinse it all off. Now, I know it's going to come off looking pretty clean for you, and a lot of people think, oh, all I have to do is rinse it off. But really, even the best of these cleaners, you still need to have some sort of physical brushing going on after this. We just want to see how well this does without anything right now. So you can see already here how pretty shiny this is here, but the part where there was dirt, like I can run my finger here and you can still see it's dirty in there. We're gonna do just a quick mist on it and then get some 
some soap on there with the brush with the brushes here we're going to get back in here with our wheel woolly brushes here and we're going to clean the drum as well the dirt that cakes on your drums in here actually makes the the wheels look dirtier and it prevents light from bouncing around see this right here so you still need a little bit of mechanical movement on there to get these wheels clean if you wash your car once a week you won't have to be spraying on as much of the wheel cleaner okay so i'm just going to do a real quick light mist for the second time here we'll let that soak for a little bit and then we're going to come in with the soapy water and our wheel woolly brushes Okay, now if you haven't seen wheel woolly brushes before, you guys got to get a pair of these. These are the best. They, they come in a package of three actually, and they look like carpets here. See this? They look and feel just like wool carpets. That's why they're called wheel woolies. And these are very, very gentle on your wheels, and they're a great way to scrub the, the wheels to get them nice and clean here. We'll put links to this down in the description below for you, so you can check these out on your own. So I'm going to take my wheel willy and stick it back in here so you can see how I'm able to clean where the drum is. And I like to get way back behind each one of the spokes here at an angle so that you can make sure you get all of it clean. And by the way, just as an aside, anytime you ever get a chance and if you ever have your wheel off the car, that's the best time in the world to lay it down flat and clean the inside of these rims and they'll look absolutely perfect when you're done. to use this brush here for doing the lug nuts. This is perfect for that. Okay, so this smaller of the wheel woolies here we'll use for getting in and around the smaller nooks and crannies, which this wheel doesn't have too many of, but many others do. See, this fits perfectly in these grooves right here if you want to clean those out. But these are already, these wheels were already reasonably clean. However, as clean as they looked when we first started here, they actually came out a lot shinier than we thought it would look. So just because you think you have clean wheels doesn't mean you always have clean wheels. So look how incredibly shiny these wheel rims look now compared to how they looked before. They looked good before, but when you look at this before picture here that you see here on the screen, and you look at the after picture that you see here right now, it's definitely a lot shinier. And even more important is this. So you can see, look at the barrel of the wheel now. It's, now it's nice and shiny and it's reflecting up all of the light. Here's a good angle here where you can see the water droplets back in there. But before it actually looked black, whereas now it's kind of reflecting nicer. It may not show up as good on the video here. Okay, so now we're doing the tires here. Some people prefer to do the tires first, but remember, you, to clean the wheels, they have to be dry. So it's actually best, I think, to clean the wheels first and then the tires, because once we're doing the tires here, now you have more soap suds that get to run down and give it one more shot at greatness and cleanliness. Okay, so you can see when you're doing your wheels and tires, it can take about five to 10 minutes per tire to do this, but it is necessary because you don't wanna just clean your car and then have dirty wheels. And remember too, you want to let the tires dry before you apply any of the tire gel on there. So now we just dry off the wheels and the tires. 
Okay, so this is Meguiar's Endurance Tire Gel. So this goes on like a liquid. You could either apply it with a paintbrush or with an applicator. So we've been using this on our own cars for years and we've always liked it because it seems to outlast most of the other brands in terms of the shine that you get. It is going to be interesting to see how it stacks up against this spray. Okay, so here's the product it's going up against here. So this is the new Meguiar's Classic Tire Shine here. So this one goes on as like a spray. So you hold it about four to six inches away from the tire and spray it on. But it does have its problems because of the overspray. So if you miss the tire and you get any on the ground, you're really going to have to soap it off and wash it off really clean and good, like right away before it dries. Okay, right there to the lower right of my thumb, you can see it says, remove any product immediately from cement or asphalt with detergent to prevent staining or slippery conditions. Okay, so for the, for the Meguiar's Endurance Tire Gel here, I'm going to apply the tire dressing directly to the foam applicator pad here. And what we do is we just go around the tire. Now this might take a few applications here because you want to get it nice and wet and lubricated with the product on here. And as you can see, you see how the, on, there's sharp edges on the edge of the foam applicator here? That's meant to get into these nooks and crannies right around here around the, the rim. So we're going to make a few passes around the tire with this. Remember, some of the product will get soaked into your, your applicator pad. So you do want to pretty well get it on there quickly. So now it's been 10 minutes, so I'm going to apply some more of the Meguiar's Tire Gel Endurance on here for the second coat to hopefully beef up the shine a little bit more. Remembering to stay off of the treads. You don't want to go around that part. Then I like to follow it up with a paintbrush too. And you always want to use a high quality paintbrush. Don't use a chip brush or anything because you want something that will really smooth down the product here. So I like to get it right over all of these nooks and crannies that you really can't quite get into perfectly with the foam applicators. So that means over the raised lettering, wherever there's any texture here. And I come back and do some cut in here on the, along the rim just like you're painting the wall. When you're applying it with the paintbrush here, you really want to spread the product thin because you don't want it creating runs down the wheel. You just want it to be on there nice and wet. I'm gonna do this. Okay, now that the first wheel is done, let's move on to the second one. As long as you wash your car regularly, you shouldn't have to be using this wheel cleaner all the time. And if you do decide to do it, it would just be a real quick spray mist. Okay, so here on the rear tire, we're going to experiment here with the Meguiar's Classic Tire Shine, like we mentioned before. And so the way this works here is you spray all the way around the tire here, four to six inches away. And I like to have a, a towel here on the ground too, again, because the overspray here will leave a nice mark that will probably stay for months on your concrete. So let's go ahead and get this sprayed. And remember, you keep it off of the tread and try to keep it off of the rims and whatever overspray lands on the rims will wipe off right away.
So we're trying to get real close to the rim there. And you don't want to be overly close to the wheel, four to six inches away. Any closer and you could cause runs. You don't want the product running down the wheel. So you just want even coats going all the way around. Now this final step here, a lot of people don't think to, to do this, and I bet you've probably never heard of this before, but we're going to apply on here uh, the Blackfire Silicon Dioxide Wheel Seal. And what this does, think of it as a car wax for your rims here. So what we're going to do is this, this goes on like a car wax does, and then you wipe it off just like you would wipe off a car wax. And it coats your rims here with a, a silicon dioxide layer here, and it's not abrasive it's a brake dust repellent and it's also heat and moisture resistant as well so this forms a protective barrier between the wheel and contamination elements so you're protected against humidity water heat and other airborne pollution here and it, this is safe to use on all painted clear coat rims aluminum stainless rims anything so it's pretty much good to go on any rims however you they tell you not to use it on matte or satin rims because this is shiny so it's it's meant to protect the shine on here and keep it shiny and not allow the brake dust to collect on here okay so now we're going to buff it off now and it just looks really shiny but wait till we get it out on the sun and on the other front right tire we decided to leave it untreated so that we can check back on it in a few weeks from now and see if there's any difference to see if this wheel has been protected from brake dust and if the other has collected brake dust on it okay so here we are now with the wheel out in the bright sunlight it just shines perfectly out in the sun here very reflective nice and clean and remember you essentially have a car wax on that rim so that's what's making it shine so much okay so now here's the rear wheel and even though the rim looks good nice and shiny here you can see the tire just doesn't really look glazed at all I'm, I'm, I'm just not impressed at all with that spray and to be honest with you we've used numerous sprays over the years from different manufacturers and none of them seem to give you the shine and gloss that you'll get from a gel from actually doing the hard work and applying a gel on there so this is basically five minutes after spraying on here it looks like it, it almost wasn't even applied at all and you saw we gave it two coatings when we sprayed this wheel here so who knows maybe it needs a few more coatings to give you any kind of noticeable effect so if you can see here looking at them both at the same time here side by side here the front tire looks a lot glossier and the back tire basically looks like it wasn't treated at all so these aerosol sprays we still haven't found one yet that really impresses us well I hope you're liking this video so far and if you did hey please give us a thumbs up down below just click on that thumbs up icon that lets us know that you like us and if you haven't subscribed to the carbuyingtips.com video channel yet here on YouTube hey why haven't you go ahead and click that subscribe button down below there and when you do that you got to click that little gray bell icon that will tell YouTube to alert you every time we upload a video well that's it for this week folks thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one